Warmer weather is here, and that means more of us will head outdoors. Unfortunately, it's also tick season, and cases involving Lyme disease have tripled in the U.S. Channel 9 anchor Jamie Holmes found out how researchers at UCF have spent nearly a decade studying ticks trying to stop Lyme disease. For eight years, UCF doctor Molly Jewett has had a room full of ticks. How many ticks does it look like that are in there? Six, seven, eight? Yeah. Trying to unravel why Lyme disease has spread so quickly. According to the CDC, cases in Florida have tripled from 34 in 2006 to 132 in 2016. Hey, Lyme disease overall is on the rise. Uh, what we don't know and what research still needs to kind of focus on is whether or not these patients have actually acquired Lyme disease in Florida. And determining whether Floridians were bitten by ticks carrying the disease here or in another state is very difficult. By far, most of the 30,000 cases of Lyme are in the Northeast, which means Floridians may be getting it when they travel. The other hard part is the ticks that carry Lyme disease are nymphs, which are only a fraction of the size of adult ticks. You might have a tick on you and actually never see it. Oh, that hamburger you had for dinner, remember that sesame seed? Smaller than that sesame seed. On top of that, the symptoms may be written off as the flu, and screening for Lyme disease is very tedious. The CDC believes there may be some 300,000 people who actually get Lyme disease every year but aren't tested for it. For Jewett, the goal is a cure and developing that test that tells you immediately if you have Lyme disease or not. Really clearly having a molecular test that is a yes-no answer for sure this is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease for the patient is really going to open a lot of doors to helping people. In Orlando, Jamie Holmes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. While Lyme disease in Florida is difficult to determine, ticks here certainly still carry a variety of bacteria. So for a map of what kind of ticks are in the state and what kind of disease they carry, go to the web link section of WFTV.com.